Efficient Math Teachers. Today we're going to just do a quick tutorial on how to do parallel lines and perpendicular lines in free space, not on a coordinate plane. So I just insert a shape and I use the pre-made line. Um, I usually will make it black and then I'll change the weight um, depending on you know what you would prefer. Um, I also prefer the like open arrows as opposed to the triangular filled arrows. Um, and so I'm actually going to make this a little heavier. Um, so let's say I have this line and I can adjust and move this line. If I'd like to make a line that's parallel to it, um, I'm going to just highlight it and then I'm going to hit control C for copy and then control V for paste and it automatically makes it parallel. If I adjust this anyway, um, it obviously changes it, but um, if you just do it, um, from the copy paste, it'll make it a parallel line. And I can spread them apart without adjusting the um, parallelism. If I would like to add the um, arrows to indicate that they are parallel, there's several ways that I um, do this. Um, but my favorite way is to just create a little arrow that looks just actually, I'm going to make this bigger. And then I used the insert shape and then I just did the free form and I just unclicked it. <laughs> and then I just copy the arrow that is here and it will create the a duplicate of that. And I make it black and then I do the same thing, control C, control V and I just layer it right there. And if I'd like to keep this all together so that if I move one without, you know, I can move the whole set of parallel lines together, I can highlight all four of these pieces and then hit Control G. And now I have a group of my parallel lines. Say I'm creating a worksheet and these are too big I can actually go to shape format, hit size, hit lock aspect ratio, and adjust them like that. And it'll keep the parallelism. It'll keep the markings. You might need to go in and make those a little bigger, um, but you can now keep a set of parallel lines um, together. Uh, similarly, you can do a set of perpendicular lines. I'm just going to copy one of the lines. And if I make this, um, let's just knock this down to a height of zero. And I can verify that it's perfectly horizontal because I have a height of zero. I'm gonna hit Control C, Control V, and then I can rotate 90 degrees and I have perpendicular lines. And um, you can add a square to make your little right angle box. And then you can highlight all of them, control G, and you've got a set of perpendicular lines. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.